Hi folks, this is Shefik. We have recently implemented elliptic curve digital signage algorithm in Python programming language from scratch. And in this video, we are going to focus on the importance of random K while signing messages. But before we begin, please like the video and do not forget to subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with the latest videos. Also, your comments are more than welcome. Thank you for your all support in advance. In 2010, a hacker group can recover the private key of Sony from digital signatures created by elliptic curve digital signature algorithm because Sony was not generating different random number while signing different messages in PlayStation 3. As I mentioned, random key must be really random while you are signing messages. Otherwise, if you sign two different messages with same random K thereafter it's going to be a really data leak and your private K will be stolen. Let's focus on the as part of our signature and suppose that the signature of our first message is going to be S1 whereas the signature of our second message is going to be S2. S1 is going to be hash of our first message let's call it h1 plus r times r private kt and similarly s2 is going to be hash of our second message h2 plus r times d and times random k to the power of minus one in other words multiplicative inverse of of our random k what if i'm going to find the s1 minus s2 as an attacker i'm going to have this term minus this term here both terms have multiplicative inverse of random k so i'm able to represent this as multiplicative inverse of random k times this value minus this value i can get rid of the parentheses here and i need to change the sign of this term to minus as you can see in the parentheses i have plus r times d and minus so this can be simplified as s values the both s1 and s2 they are public values because these are signatures also hash values must be public because alice sends the message and its signature to both so attacker can find the hash from the play message I'm able to find the random k from known s pairs and hash pairs. Let's see. I'm going to sign this message first. Here, I'm going to add a new section for attacking. And this value is going to be s1. And I also need the hash value for this signature. Let's draw this as h1 then i'm going to sign a new message with same random k that's why i'm going to deactivate this line and let's see the content of random k i'm going to use this random k for signing a new message and let's describe a new message elliptic curve cryptography with the halmon 2 and this is going to be my second message and let's sign this message this r and s pair is going to be the signature of my second message but i'm going to need just the s value this is my s value in this equation i'm going to move h1 minus h2 to the left hand side so s1 minus s2 over h1 minus h2 is going to be multiplicative inverse of random k here i can get rid of the minus one power if I replace the denominator and nominator, it's going to be h1 minus h2 over s1 minus s2, and it's going to be random k. Let's do this random k prime is going to be h1 minus h2. This might be less than the zero, that's why I'm going to find the modulo n. Thereafter, find the multiplicative inverse of s1 minus s2 times s1 minus s2 find its multiplicative inverse in modulo n and again this multiplication might be greater than the modulo let's see the random k 
calculated by the attacker and let's remember the random key here let's say we can check it like that yes attacker can find the random key successfully from two different messages signed by same random key now attacker will use the calculation of s1 because he knows s1 value h1 value random k value also he knows the r value because r was the x coordinate of our random point and random point is the corresponding point of random k let's find random point random point prime is going to be calculated by the attacker and he's going to use the blunt add method again point is going to be g integer k is going to be random k and modulo is going to be p and r prime is going to be x coordinate of random point prime let's see content of r prime is it equal to r yes at this point attacker knows the r value as well so he can calculate the private k let's do it he firstly moves random k to the left hand side it's going to be s1 times random k is equal to this term thereafter he's going to move the h1 term to the left hand side and the equation is going to be s1 times random k minus h1 is equal to r times private k d finally he's going to move r to the left hand side and finally he's going to get s1 times random k minus h1 over r is equal to private k d so attacker is going to calculate this s1 times random k minus h1 here he's going to find the multiplicative inverse of r that's why he's going to calculate the this term times multiplicative inverse of r in modulo n this multiplication might be greater than the modulo and this must be the private k i'll just use let's see the private k here really the value is same we can validate it the prime must be equal to the yes attacker can find the private k of ls with two different messages signed by same random k so in this video we have focused on the importance of the random k for elliptic curve digital signage algorithm even though the crypto system is very robust if you use same random k to sign different messages it's going to be a data leak it's going to cause your private k being stolen thank you all for watching and see you next time